lot of messages, man, about um, the fight last night. And I've been going on to other people's posts, responding on there and stuff. It's getting, the shit has got crazy. It's, it's, all, it's all way out of hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and put my two cents in and, 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 and school y'all since y'all don't know the facts on how things are supposed to work. Okay? <laughs> so now, you have a guy, Connor, which um, is... All right, so you got a guy, Connor McGregor, that is known to be a shit talker, who is known to do outrageous things to get up under the competitor's skin. He's not the first person in sports to do this. Muhammad Ali was notorious for this. He, he, he actually pulled up to Sonny Liston's house in his big old camper on his lawn, chilled on his lawn for a couple of days out there talking shit to this man in front of his family. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all of this leading up to the fight, it was so many things that happened. You know, just because a person talked trash to you, which all the sports, sports, you know, stars get trash talk to them. They get spat on. They get, you know, called all kind of different names and, and, and talked about by their parents, by the person who's playing against them, by the team that's playing against them, or by the fans. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the difference. The difference is the person that plays, here's the difference. The person and the team that's talking trash against that person, that's all fine and dandy. That's between those two players. And that's between those two teams. That's all good. It ain't leading out into the audience. It ain't got nothing to do with whatever you say and do on that field or lead up into some type of event between the two or the two teams. That's all good. It's all good and dandy. But we as professionals ain't supposed to talk shit to, to fans. We as professionals are not supposed to go up in the audience and and or in the crowd and and when it's innocent bystanders out there. What if he would have hit one of the fans or one of the fans jumped on him? That's a lawsuit. That's a lawsuit that UFC ain't trying to have. I'm telling you, if Habib would have hit one of the fans by mistake, ooh, Dana ass would have been grass. Now the two of them is fine. If you want, listen. If you want to pay somebody back for talking shit about you, for talking shit about your family, your religion, get them in the ring. Punish him in the ring. Five rounds punishing him. Don't choke him out first round. Don't choke him out first round, second round, third round, fourth round. Let him up. Get on up. Let me beat your ass some more. Keep pounding him and whooping him the whole fight. That's how you get him back. You don't go jump into the audience fighting people, no matter what led, no matter what was said, what was led up to the fight. None of that. Get them in the ring, dog. That's all you can do. Period. You won the fight. Go home and celebrate. No need to go ahead and, and jump in the crowd now. Look, he ain't even gonna get no belt. May not, he may not even get no belt now. This is bad news. This is bad for the sport. There's millions of people watching this on pay per view. It ain't millions of people watching them throw no bus. You know, no thing to no bus. You got insurance on the bus. Get it fixed. That ain't nothing. He ain't hurt a beep. He ain't hurt the bus. You got insurance. Y'all yeah, missing the whole point here, man. Do that shit in the ring. You cannot go outside the ring because you're putting other people's lives in. I'm a bodybuilder. I'm not even a fighter. I had a cop, a couple of cops tell me one time, if you hit this man with those big ass arms, you're going straight to jail. Period, because you're a lethal weapon. These guys are lethal weapons. They can't be fighting in the crowd, end up hurting somebody, man. That's not a fighter. They're just regular innocent bystanders. They can't do that. Handle your business in the ring, man. You remember what happened when Meta World Peace for the NBA, all these people was throwing shit on him, calling him names, N word, calling him N word, and he jumped up and ran into the stands, and the whole NBA team was in the stands fighting. That's the first time something like that has happened in 70 years. You can't do that. You can't engage yourself with fans, man. You can't. That fool got a whole year suspension. He lucky he almost got banned from the sport. You can't do that. Get him in the ring or get him on a basketball court or the football court, uh, football field, man. That's how things work. That's thing. See, Connor, what y'all are missing about Connor? Connor's a good dude. Mayweather's a good dude. These guys talk a lot of shit because they make a lot of money from doing that. This is just the act. This ain't real. 
this how they get paid. Guys, just as calm as mellow as you and I when we're not getting ready, when they're not getting ready for a fight, man. This is an act for them. That's why they make so much damn money. Because they got you believing what they're doing is real. It's an act. It's an act. And it's trying to get up under their skin. They let them let that get up under their skin and it's throwing the game off. He was so built up with anger, man, he wanted to kill a dude. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. If I, being a, me being a black man in America, if I counted every time that I was called the N-word, you feel me? Or I was treated wrong. If I was get, if you give me a penny for every time, I'd be fucking rich. I'm from the South. I'm from the South. You got to learn to let that shit go. One ear, not the other. Period. As long as they ain't putting their hands on you, we good. You can talk all you want to talk. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say, man. All right, we out.